where I had so much more still to study and there was like so little time and I'm like oh my god what's gonna happen oh my god am I even gonna pass this thing oh my god <laughs> Welcome back to my channel so today we're actually writing our renal exam and i'm just i'm just so tired <laughs> i'm just so tired yeah i just wish all of this could be just over you know this year and i think i'm gonna pass it's just a matter of a symbol but yeah but anyway i decided to do this video because you guys are writing next week so yeah it just it just made me go back and think back when i was in like in this moment like as in like today we i was actually writing the following week writing the web oh my god it was a lot it was a lot and i wish i wish somebody had told me this so i'm gonna tell you this now listen it's hard i know it is it's very very hard and it doesn't get better it gets more and more hard once you're in medicine and i'm not saying this to discourage you in any way no i'm not i'm just saying this um to encourage you you know because right now i know that you might be alone um in the environment where you're like the only person that's writing the web because that's usually the case normally you don't have 10 or more people in one place that actually know each other and will be writing the web it's very rare you might be the only one or two or five or whatever and as time goes on most of those people might be giving up and writing the web because of stress because of the pressure and i totally understand but you shouldn't trust me you shouldn't you thank yourself whether you pass whether you don't pass you will thank yourself that you went there and you wrote the words because one you paid money to apply to even write the words so having to waste that money and i think it's a, it's an amazing opportunity to go and write because you get to to see the type of questions they give out um the type of like the star and everything and i know that this year you guys are writing online so i really don't see a reason not to write like at all and you might have not prepared enough it's still okay write it write the web and see what happens it's fine you fail it this year if that's what's going to happen but i'll definitely pray for you guys that you guys get in i wish for you for like all of you guys to get in everyone everyone so yeah but if it doesn't happen that's still okay you'll apply again next year while you're trying to improve your your um degree average and then you'll get in just keep on trying keep on trying i really wish somebody had told me this because when i when i got into gimp i actually thought that the web was the hardest thing ever so <laughs> shock of my life it was it was it was really like challenging there were so many challenges and in, in, on top of that there were practicals and all that but the, the 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 good thing about being here like getting into medicine is that you've got a lot of people that are doing the same thing unlike when you were preparing for the web to where you were the only one or it was just two of you and maybe that other person that you were with was giving up and all of that and you're the only one now so having a lot of people doing the same thing is actually a benefit to you because you get to get to encourage each other help each other on the content that you don't understand and you know bring each other like go up together and getting good marks and all that because you have the same mindset you have the same goal and there's like a 300 people in the class <laughs> so you can have you can make so many friends and have an amazing support system of people that actually know what you're going through unlike when you were writing the web so right now you feel like you th you are alone you're struggling and you feel like you've reached your maximum i remember i remember when i was when i was going through that where i had so much more still to study and there was like so little time and i'm like oh my god what's gonna happen oh my god am i even gonna pass this thing oh my god have i even i've even sacrificed 
some of my marks in my bsc because i was studying for the web while i was doing my bsc and truth be told even though i still got like a good average for my for my degree i would have gotten like so much better marks because the time that i was using to prepare for the web I would have used it in preparing for my exams, for my, my for my um what is it for my degree, my practicals, my practical reports and all that. But then now, I was taking some of my time, like most of my time, doing the web. So, I know you're having all these thoughts that what if it was all for nothing? Just I'm I'm just gonna say that just continue, don't stop. You've got Saturday, we still have today. You have today. You've got Saturday, you've got Sunday, and then I know that more like you have been divided into groups. You don't write like on the same day. I understand that, but then if you are in an advantage where you like you writing on the later later day of the week next week, you are at the greatest advantage. Please use that. Please use that. Don't don't play with this time, you guys. Because you'll have to go through the process all over again next year and you don't want that already you've sacrificed so much of your time studying might as well just kick in like you know your last kick just continue study more study more but then on the day before you write please just do me this I know do me this favor I know a lot of you guys like um studying um like until midnight or like even far after that guys i don't know but this is my personal advice i don't think it's really helpful i think you need your rest make sure that maybe you could like pull out an all-nighter today and tomorrow and then maybe on sunday no if you're writing on monday don't pull out an, an all-nighter on sunday on sunday you have to rest you have to be well rested allow your brain to to refresh or to, to you know have that reset button because having to write the web to why you're tired you might make silly mistakes that you wouldn't make if you were fresh and you guys there's this thing that i always do my grade seven teacher he actually told me this he said mr khan he said um by the way shout out to him shout out to him <laughs> so he said there was a study that was done where students were divided there were students that um the, these all these students were about to write an exam so group a drank water before they wrote the exam and then group b did not write did not, did not drink water before they wrote the exam so when the marks came back Group A had performed much better than Group B. Maybe not that much, much, much better, but like, you know, maybe three marks or something like that. Because they have drinking water. Water had calmed them down, first of all, because whenever you're writing an exam, your heart is like, cuckoo, cuckoo all the time. I know that. <laughs> like, all the time. Even if you're writing online, you still have, you know, that heart beats. And then your mind has to be well hydrated you know if your brain is well hydrated it, it works much efficiently it, it's it's more functional so please just use that and yeah just enjoy it enjoy it enjoy it you guys you do this like you do it once and then if you get in you do it once and then you do it again next year like after a very long time like after months if you don't get in and then again please don't give up just don't give up if you don't get in this year it's still fine you can still try again next year but then that's not the goal of this video this video i'm telling you guys to push push as much as you can put in all that you have because guys it's so worth it when you're in it's so worth it when i'm having like when i'm like unboxing my scrubs and i'm unboxing my stethoscope after i've worked so hard for getting in after i've done the wax after you know it's just it's just all worth it just i know i know you're tired you might be like burned out and all that but please just and by the way, um, Simon has been like posting the mock web exam on the Telegram group that I have the link down below. Guys, 
repeat if you did it like you know online and stuff like that please repeat it again this weekend repeat the questions write the the mock web again and then t like tick for yourself and see if you've improved and stuff like that before you actually write the actual exam please just do that and yeah it will give you it will make you pumped up and you'll get more um momentum you know that you are ready for this exam so yeah so yeah and yeah just stick to what you 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 have already done solidify it make sure that you know it word for word just you know just make sure that you know it and what you haven't done yeah you you haven't and that's okay it's okay i mean there are only 50 questions per per section 50 questions for anatomy 50 for physiology and molecular medicine so yeah just make sure that whatever you've done you know it well do not try and study everything while whatever you've studied you don't even know quite well so try and you know solidify i think this time is the time to solidify what you already have make sure that you know it and then by solidifying you could like watch you youtube videos on that topic to see if you really understand it and then you could do the mock web as i told you i think he has like three past question papers so you can do all three question papers and then mark yourself and then see what happens so guys all the best all the best just don't forget to pray and exercise I don't know maybe it's i think i don't think it's late yeah you can still exercise maybe jog i went for a jog today after my renewed exam it actually calmed me it made me feel so much at ease so you can do that as well maybe do that the day before you write the the exam not like late late maybe oh. like maybe 4 p.m when you're writing the following day you can go out and jog you listen to good music just do whatever makes you happy and then sleep early please just do that sleep early and guys the fact that you're writing online it doesn't mean that it's it's less important or maybe you'll have your notes next to you and you'll try and you know maybe take a few things and answer using your notes it will it will take a lot of your time and you might not even finish just make sure that you use the time to solidify and yeah just do your best do whatever you can and make sure that the room that you you'll be writing on is really tight tidy it's clean but there's for some reason the brain works much well when the room is clean and there's water next to you you're drinking water maybe you have a fruit next to you whatever so yeah just have a happy mood before you go and write so yeah guys all the best i'm wishing you guys all the best of the best of the best of luck <laughs> so yeah guys thank you so much and you will do great you will be great don't forget that so just go there go there write it and you'll be fine you'll make it and you'll be an amazing doctor so it will be all worth it trust me <laughs> guys please subscribe to my channel like the video if you think it was very helpful to you if it gave you more confidence so yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.